Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in on this beautiful morning. It is already July 24th, 2021. Sky is incredibly beautiful and pink after the full moon last night. So today, on this episode, I'm going to talk about my adjunct professor experience at McCann School of Business and Technology. And this is a lighter subject, and I'm very happy to share my experience with you all. It was back in January of 2012. I had seen um, they were hiring for adjunct you know, professors in psychology. So I was super, super excited that I was hired because of my, um, my degrees and my background and my master's and all of my experience. Um, but prior to that, I was hired at Cedar Crest, and I'll talk about that on a whole other episode. And thank you if you are just tuning in. It is bright and early this morning, and I'm super excited and motivated to share my story. So taking you back to January of 2012 um, and all of the classes that I was able to teach there. So I was hired to teach Intro to Psychology. And if any one of you who are watching or listening knows me, I'm kind of referred to the spiritual psychologist. So I look at that, um, things in that perspective. So I taught psychology and then later on I was um, you know, teaching public speaking, career exploration, which is one of my favorites, um, computer and technology basics, um, level one, I believe, and English literature one. So I'll give you a little background about all of those um, and, and my favorites. So as I mentioned, I was hired to teach psychology and I really, really enjoyed developing that curriculum because um, if you don't know, I have a background in curriculum and instruction. So it's kind of like designing and using methodology um, and just having fun. So if anyone from McCann is able to comment or say hello, I'd really appreciate it. So my psychology class was so much fun. Um, I always integrated dance in all of my classes and theater and all of the arts, no matter what it was, you know, even in computers. Well, I was able to integrate um, some of the dance and the movement and from a psychological perspective, use that for um, icebreakers for people to get to know each other. I would use movement during the first um, class and um, I would use a move called pass the move. And what that is, I would take the, my class outside and this is something that I learned from governor's school. <laughs> so I told you that changed my life and McCann School of Business, um, their whole motto is changing futures, changing lives. So go figure, everything is really connected and I did want to say that I was um, teaching at the Hazleton and the Wilkes-Barre campuses. So going back to the introduction of psychology, I would use a lot of movement, I would use a lot of um, you know working memory and a lot of games for memorization and just real life experiences. I would do um, you know, games before every test and we would do who wants to be a millionaire and just have a lot of fun. Um, we played a lot of games in there, but it was all related to the curriculum. So why not have fun while you are learning, right? Because it's so much fun, especially in psychology. So I was able to teach psych. Um, I was teaching psych for about two years and then the opportunity to teach, um, I think it was career exploration came up first. And that was also one of my favorites. Um, I would have the students do a lot of exploration as far as their career, um, seeking opportunities, um, a lot of vision board, a lot of questioning, a lot of learning about themselves. So I really liked that curriculum and getting rid of the negative thoughts 
and um, you know replacing them with positivity and really just setting their minds and I never thought later on in life like I would have my own company doing a lot of the curricular activities that I created so I was doing that as well and then um, by 2013 when right after I was laid off from Job Corps um, one of the directors had reached back out to me and you know I'd like to think that um, you know I was doing a good job at the time so she had all these classes open up in the fall that year and I was so honored and so blessed to teach those classes um, I was offered you know not only the psychology I had the public speaking and uh, the career exploration the computers and the English lit I was you know substitute teaching for someone else and I just really enjoyed all of that so um, public speaking was also a favorite of mine I remember I had my students compare presidents and use research-based material and um, you know just support uh, their their choice and I, I just remember like one of the choices I think was comparing JFK and Obama and Reagan and comparing from a theatrical perspective because it was public speaking and you think of using your theater and your your acting in in this so anyone watching um, thank you for tuning in this morning. It is a beautiful sunrise. It is starting to rain a little bit, so I might have to relocate. But um, it's raining a lot, <laughs> so I might have to move in a few minutes. But I, I definitely had a great time. I remember a lot of my students were so nervous. So I remember starting my curriculum with nonverbal communication. So I really like to think outside of the box and started with puppets okay so I had my students do puppet shows <laughs> because this way they weren't shown and they weren't alone and they it created a safe environment for them before they were able to do their final speech at the end and that was awesome too so that was definitely one of my favorites um, to develop the curriculum and I'm going to share this view with you So peaceful. So that is the public speaking. So going back into um, English literature, that was uh, a lot of fun as well. But there was a lot of literature to go through. So like I mentioned, my favorites definitely were psychology, career exploration, and public speaking. Um, so that was in 2013. And then going into 2014, um, I had the opportunity to teach in Wilkes-Barre. I was teaching some of the same classes, but I met a lot of great people. I'm still connected to a lot of students that attended McCann. And it was just overall just a fun experience. I loved connecting with the other um, you know, professors there as well. So that is my little tidbit of uh, McCann School of Business and Technology. A lot of fun. And yes, I just wanted to share that. So I am going to end in prayer and share this beautiful scenery with you all. The sun is on fire this morning. So thank you anyone who is tuned in this morning. I ask you to bless anyone who is struggling or depressed or trying to find transition or their place or their purpose in this world. I ask you to lift them up in spirit, cover them with love, light, and hope. Thank you so much for joining. Have a wonderful day.